Well, the music is is really born out of the relationships. Um, a lot of songs are co-written between people. We sing a lot of songs that we love that are written by other people in our services, but we also are excited about presenting another side of music that um, could get people excited about praising the Lord. We really believe in being excited about the gospel um, and, and, and raising our hands and clapping our hands and singing to the top of our lungs because we believe that Jesus is worthy of that. And um, we try to write songs that engage people's hearts, but also engage their bodies and their minds so that when they come into a service or when they're in their cars or at their house, that they feel the presence of God and respond to His presence uh, with praise and worship. We've seen Natural Life start from the very beginning. We were there in his parents' living room when a revival basically broke out among our friends. A lot of our Belmont friends met at his house for about a week-long thing. And I think that's what's special to me is I saw my life change and the life of my friends change. And that turned into a church. We didn't, we didn't go out to start a church. It started off with just a few friends and this domino effect. And before we knew it, like you said, we had, you know, a church. It was like 30 people regularly coming around worshiping and telling their friends about it and that kind of grassroots growth is kind of how it's still growing today. It's just you encounter Jesus and then you tell your friend about it, they're interested and it happens to them. Mm -hmm. And like we've kind of just been person by person growing that way. Uh, so yeah, the, the people and the, the transformations that are happening have definitely been the driving force of the church. If it weren't for that, we wouldn't be here. I really believe in developing the person. Um, we live in a very talented city. Almost everyone who is here could probably make their own record. And we honor those talents, but um, we're a church. And so the first thing that we care about, the first thing that we believe in fostering is discipleship and raising people to be leaders in Christ. And what that has really fostered in our church is family and accountability and discipleship to where the talent in our church doesn't outweigh someone's character. Our entire team, they're either life group leaders or they're very committed, like, right. pillar members of their life group. Right. So I'm very proud to have a church where the entire music team is just as involved in the ministry of the church as they are in the music of the church. Right, right. Which is a really cool byproduct of building this way.